All right, food fam, living the goddess life. Each to beast. Cheers. We just did a Costco haul and uh, we're gonna go through relatively quickly what we've got. So egg whites, um, classic. We go through quite a few a bit. Um, quite a few a bit. Yeah, that is proper <laughs> English. Everyone in this room is now dumber. Egg whites for um, sides and oatmeal. I don't know, you do yeah, just sometimes just, just, plain egg whites. just plain egg whites, seasoned or whatever, nothing crazy. Rotisserie chicken, super easy. It's already pulled. Don't have to worry about skin, bones, or anything like that. Just hardcore protein, easy, heat it up, and you're good for the day. So, yeah. Eat okay. this daily. You sometimes will season it up in a pan and mm -hmm. air it fry it. I do all kinds of stuff with it. Yeah. You could also put it in like, I think you also do like the low carb wraps or like tortillas or whatever. That's always good. Cause I know sometimes you're like, oh, chicken's boring or whatever. You can kind of make like your own little burritos or tacos or chop it up. Just get creative. So totally. we're pretty, we just, at this point, we kind of are just on autopilot for fuel purposes. Cause we're eating five, sometimes six times a day. So it's like, oh, you know, you don't want to try to get too crazy and fancy all the time. So a lot of times it's just chicken and rice and veggies. Especially cause it's pretty, like there's, there's not seasoning or anything on it, right sis? No. Nope. So you can just kind of do whatever you want to. Yeah. Good old fashioned Quaker oats. This is a go-to old fashioned. Don't eat that processed crap. I know you have a favorite oat recipe that you do every morning. So maybe you can kind of give them like the little quick and easy spiel on that. Yes. So half a cup of oats, um, some chia seeds. I do one tablespoon healthy fats in there. Gets the digestive tract flowing. Um, PB2 because I love peanut butter, but we are not here for all the fats and some almond milk and some stevia and cinnamon and it is amazing. With one cup of almond milk, I soak it overnight and it's perfect in the morning. Yeah, and then she heats it up, I believe, but yeah. you can also do it cold because it'll kind of like, the overnight oats. Yeah. Has chia, so. And it kind of coagulates. That's like a really fancy medical word that mm. means it like glues together. <laughs> um, so some people are weird consistency people and they're just like, oh, I don't like it, it's too slimy or whatever, but if you heat it up, it's actually really good. Um, okay, then uh, I think this is your grab today. Yeah, bell peppers. Go yeah. in with my veggies, add some color, mm -hmm. get fancy. Um, there's basically zero calories in these guys, so I like to toss them in the air fryer. I know sometimes, or I'll just munch on them lately if I'm like snackish and I'm trying to avoid like the carb monster. So I will just kind of grab them out of the fridge and just eat them. They're sweet and they're actually pretty tasty. I'm not a huge fan um, of rice cauliflower because I think it's just an imposter and it's a sad imposter. <laughs> but it does the job. I know you can do a million things with it. Probably for that in the air fryer too. Yes, I have done that in the air fryer and it's actually not too bad. It is not, gets a little more crispy so it does have a little different texture. If you have like digestive issues and you're very sensitive to certain things, like this is gonna make you a farty, bloaty mess. Okay. Uh huh. And these I got last week. Um, just ready-made chicken, ready-cut chicken, super easy. Um, toss in the air fryer. I'm sure, Alicia, you guys have like baked them or? Yeah, we're gonna make like buffalo chicken style chicken. Okay, let's move on. What we got? All right. Oh God, my muscles are made for this. Okay. So this is more of the fresher items. And this is gonna be like all the veggies and all that jazz. Mushrooms, I will throw those in the air fryer along with those red peppers. They're delicious. Um, my son is back from Washington. He's a, he's a huge fan of berries. He will eat one side in one sitting. We did allow him one box of fun stuff because we're not that big of a dictatorship in this house. Can you see what that is? Those are Pringles. And I specifically bought those because I don't like those. I don't like them. So I'm like, oh, you know, if I have a craving, I'm not gonna just randomly be like fit knuckled even a can of Pringles. So I typically try to use that strategy when I'm buying stuff for the youngest. And it's a good strategy for moms. Typically grab something that you know they'll enjoy, but it's really not like a trigger food for you where you're gonna eat it and then wanna keep eating it or eat off their plate or anything like that. I think that's a really easy tip that I should stress on as far as taking away something from this video because I know a lot of times it's like, oh, it's for the kids, it's for the kids. But mommy needs a snack and what's in here? Don't buy shit that you're gonna eat. I am gonna do asparagus this week. I'm six weeks out, I think, yeah. Six. 
six weeks out. Uh, Alicia is four weeks out, so veggies go up. Carbs tend to kind of go down a little bit. Not a mu not much, but enough. So we've got a ton of greens. Uh, I think I bought four or five bags of asparagus. I'm gonna do like a family dinner tomorrow night, which is hard on prep, but I tried to make the macros pretty similar to what a typical like ending meal would be for us. So a greens that I typically won't eat are Brussels sprouts. And the reason being is because they're fart bombs and they're a little bit higher in carbs than like broccoli. They're a little more higher starchy veggies. More asparagus. We live and die by pan spray. So we bought two of these. We cook all of our meals typically with this unless it's a meal that requires a high fat. Then sometimes we'll do like an olive oil or MCT oil. These were super bomb. Is that like a mom word? Super bomb. Super bomb. These were super bomb. It's lit. <laughs> Last week. So I bought three. We're gonna do this for dinner tomorrow night. My ex-husband's in town, my oldest, my youngest son, us three meatheads. So we'll probably go through one and a half of these. I'm gonna do Brussels sprouts. And for a side, I'm gonna do these uh, potatoes. People are like, oh my God, do you eat potatoes? I'm like, yeah, it's a carb and it's a fast digesting and a lot of bodybuilders actually eat potatoes on their diets. So I'll do those probably in the air fryer. We'll see how it turns out. Um, since my son is home, I do shift gears a little bit on his proteins because he doesn't want to just eat like asparagus and ground turkey. So uh, this carne asada is actually pretty good in macros and he's a growing boy. He's going to start lifting with us a little bit more. He's We're making him a personal trainer at some point in his life. So why don't I start him off young? Okay. And then I also grabbed tri-tip for him as well. So I will meal prep this for Tyson. So Tyson is 14 and a half. Um, you'll sometimes see him at the studio with me. Either I throw him in a session with clients or, you know, one of us will train him or he's there just hanging out because he's been homeschooled um, prior to COVID. So he's like the studio mascot. All right. Um, and then last but not least, Mahi Mahi. May I just get the one Mahi? And um, it's wild caught, which is the purpose and, and why I want to. Farm raised fish basically swim in a cesspool of their own feces and other dead fish, and that's just kind of what they eat. Nasty. But you do what you gotta do sometimes and it's fine, whatever. Uh, but Mahi Mahi is um, delicious if you've never had it. It's a thicker white fish. It doesn't taste super fishy. And um, this one's wild caught and the macros are amazing, which I didn't realize until I did some research this weekend, just because I, it's not kind of one of those fish that you always see hanging out at the grocery store. You kind of have to dig for it a little, um, but there's 21 grams of protein, one gram of fat and a four ounce piece of fish. And it's just like flaky and tender and it's actually really good. I look forward to it. So I'm gonna try this out. I'm gonna try an air fryer. Um, I'm playing around with a, a bunch of different seasonings and stuff. I'll let you guys know how it goes. So that is a quick Costco haul. How are you? How's your day today? We uh, trained clients this morning, trainers uh, had posing practice, Yish and all the other girls. So it was quite a jam packed day. And then um, we usually do Costco on Sundays, but we were like, let's see what it's like on a Friday. No, today's Saturday on a Saturday and it was great. So tip, if you want to go to Costco, go on a Saturday night at 530 and there's a big spider right there. <laughs> Do you see it? Oh yeah. It's a jumping spider. Um, Friday night at 5.30. No, I can't stop looking at it. Um, and it's actually dead. It's amazing. For Costco. Definitely. For Costco. So quick tip there. Okay. What'd you learn today? Put it in the comments below.